What is going on guys, it is Nyx here, and welcome back to another devlog. Now, I know it's been a little while, so let me first apologize for how long this vlog has taken. Last week, I didn't get the chance to do it because of a, um, unfortunate work schedule. And with that said, I did intend on having this vlog out even sooner than now. However, I had to re-record it due to technical difficulties. With that said though guys, let's go jump into it and go through what's in today's vlog. Now right here, I am stood next to little Betsy, or rather the test Betsy, as the other one is over there. But furthermore, there is the Porter 2. And the Climax. And the Heisler. And, well that's the Eureka Tender. There's the Eureka. And... The Glenbrook. And it's Tender. So, as you guys can see, there is a lot to go through this update, and not only just the engines, but some rolling stock, too, as well. So we'll go through these and kind of show you guys what's going on here. Now we'll go with the elephant in the room, being the Glenbrook, the newest engine added into the game. Now you'll have to forgive this, guys, as this is the private dev branch of the game, so there are still things being worked on, so please do bear with me as we go through. Uh, first things first is that a lot of the UI does not highlight in the top left corner, much like you guys have seen with the test porter. With that said, there's a nice little uh, interior here, and we'll give you guys a nice good listen to this. Now, I don't know how well that came through, but if it didn't come through all that well, let me just be the first to say that Reverb is back in the game. So all the whistles now with the engines past the next beta branch update for you guys will have the Reverb and Echo back, as well as being able to run on the new splines, which is why they're all over here. Now, as you guys can see, uh, we will point out two other things, is that the Class 70 did not make it in this particular dev branch, or at, at least it's being worked on right now, as well as the Bobber Food Boost. So those are not in here right now, but they will be in shortly. Uh, on top of that, there are a few things here, so let's go through some of the functions. You got your cylinder cocks down here, your reverser bar, so forward, oh, uh, sorry, that's all the way in reverse, that is all the way forward. As you can guys can see with the yellow highlight, that there is further animation under the engine itself, so you guys can take a look at that. Your reverser bar, as always, and your brake, so all the way forward is full brake, and all the way back is no brake at all. Now the compressor has a new UI highlight here for in yellow. Um, I don't have any more information on this, my best guess is that the UI will also pop up in the top left hand corner, saying how much air brake pressure you have, and it's probably going to be a left or right click toggle for the compressor now. The sander is right here next to it, it's kind of hidden on the uh, Glenbrook here, but it is now a left and right click, oh, actually sorry, correction, it is a just a left click animation interaction, so one left click open, one left click to close. The boiler pressure dial, or gauge here if you will, is also now a yellow highlight on the Glenbrook, and you'll see this also for some of the other engines. Uh, moving forward though, let's pop over to the tender, pretty same basic stuff. Now I will address this too, this is a current work in progress, so please bear with us. If you guys have any feedback, we'll gladly take it as we're moving forward when testing some other uh, mechanics here with this. So you guys will see more in the future with that. With that said, your manual handbrake for the tender and your water tank lid. Now again, there are some other visual glitches as you guys can see, the water kinda not showing at times depending on the angle of the camera. We do have already a full list of bugs, such related to this kind of stuff. So we will already be ahead on that when the beta branch update releases, as well as this video. So with that said guys, please be uh, bear in mind that, uh, you know, some of this stuff is not going to be perfect right off the gate, but it will be there for you guys to test with. And a nice little uh, coupler pin in the back. Now currently in this dev branch, I don't know if this will be intended for the game or not currently. But right now these are also left and right click interactions, so left click to couple and right click to uncouple. Alright, moving forward is the Eureka. 
Now the Eureka has a few changes in of itself. As you guys can see, there's more UI hello, uh, yellow UI highlights. I believe the standard bar here has changed as well. Again, another left click interaction. The whistle um, bar here is also changed as you guys can see. The regulator and the reverser and your um, air compressor brake here as well. Firebox and oh, and another little thing you guys can will start to see is the yellow um, highlight over the water gauge. So this will give you a UI pop-up for the amount of water in your boiler. Just to uh, say that again very clearly, this is only in your boiler. This does not account for the water level in the tank of the tender or in the tank of any of these other engines. So please keep that in mind moving forward as you guys will have to stick your head back into the tank to actually see how much water is in there. So, moving forward. Oh, actually, before I move forward, I almost forgot about this. Currently right now, there is a um, hitbox around everything in here in the Eureka, so you can no longer phase through the cab walls or the roof. This is probably going to change as it kind of ruins the third person camera as you guys can see. Some horrifying uh, dilemma there. So we'll work on that of course as always. Another engine that will have that sort of thing is the Heisler here. And currently right now on this as we're recording the ladders on the side of the Heisler do not work. I'm hoping this will get fixed before it gets to you guys at least. As well as a number of other things of course. But there are a number of new hitboxes around here now. You can phase for the side here, but you can't phase forward because of the uh, running boards. You can get on top of those. And I don't think it's on this. I think it's the climax. But pretty much all the same thing stuff here. Tender and tank back here have um, more hitboxes, so you guys can wander around on those. The Climax, which is an engine, just full disclosure, I don't spend much time in, but the sander bar, for whatever reason, has ended up in the boiler. So if this is still a thing in the beta, and we don't get the chance to fix it before then, please know that this is where the sander is on the engine, and it is just down there. So, uh, apologies for that, that's again just another example of a bug that currently is in this branch. Now this branch has been out for a while, I will say. And I've recorded this devlog originally a couple of days ago. So Kiyome has had time to work on some of these things. So hopefully this will be one of the quick fixes that get up, uh, get done before we get into the beta release. Uh, but all your normal stuff. Again, more UI highlights. Some of the whistle models have changed. Uh, but nothing new with any of these other engines. And again, the wood fuel texture is changed. This is partly due to a kind of test version for a combination of wood and coal, or at least a system that will work for both fuels. And then just normal Petsy. So moving forward, because we don't have any other engines to kind of go through and review, we do have our rolling stock now able to roll on the new spline. With that said though, currently in this branch, there's only the six units of rolling stock. So you'll have one boxcar, one hopper, oh, pardon me, one tanker, uh, one stake flat, one cordwood flat, and one log flat. So you guys will have these kind of mess around with. And as you can see, there's some new hitboxes as well. So the hitbox wall is uh, on this car now. So there is a physical wall that you can no longer pass through, so you guys will have to be careful when uh, operating trains in the future if this hitbox stays. Furthermore, there's also hitbox hitboxes on the stakes as well in the stake flat. So this should be interesting, and again, we'll take you guys' feedback. If you guys don't really like this, uh, we can change it. If not, then we'll keep it. Depends on you guys, of course. Tanker car, basically the same, so we'll leave that be. But another little surprise update for you guys is the model for the hopper has changed. Now this was modeled with all the other model replacements, however it was not initially released because we actually didn't need to update this model. With that said, I'll give you guys a quick comparison between the two. I believe I get the key right the first time. There we go. There's the old hopper just for comparison. So our old current hopper in the game and the new one. We'll take you guys feedback on which ones you like most and if you guys really 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 love this one 
we may also consider an option to have it also in the game, but at the same time as this one. So let us know, and uh, we'll go from there. And our boxcar. So again, nothing really changed. All the uh, stuff is there, although I kind of batted out in a new anime. Uh, actually, I don't know if that's a new animation. I've, <laughs> full disclosure, I not, have not gotten far enough in the game to actually own a boxcar and use one. So, but there is one, and the, the door does not have any hitbox on it, so you can phase through it still. So, uh, no more trapping your friends in here. Sorry, guys. But, for the most part, um, yeah. The dev branch is being tested by the team, and uh, we're just trying to knock out as many bugs as we can before we get the beta branch to you guys. With that said, I don't know the exact timeline for when the next beta branch will release. However, it should be hopefully soon. It depends on Kiyome and how many bugs he does get squashed and how he feels about releasing this uh, current state. So with that said, guys, please stay posted for more information. Um, currently, as I'm recording it, it is Wednesday at 1.20 a.m. in the morning. Um, so give it about a few days. I am off Friday and Saturday. I'll probably have another vlog out during the end of the weekend. Uh, with more information if the beta branch doesn't release this Friday. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do apologize again for how late this devlog was and how short this one is, but I wanted to kind of keep it short and simple to show you guys that progress has been made in the game and that there are stuff, um, you know, to be tested. And I'll throw in some additional footage for you guys of the uh, Glenbrook, Glenbrook, sorry, running with the new rolling stock so you guys get to see that as well as well as some of the cursed shenanigans that has been happening with the uh team and what we've been testing aka pharma being his usual self so with that said guys thank you so much for watching it has been a pleasure and until next time i hope you all enjoy i will be back again hopefully in a couple of days with a new dev vlog so until then we'll catch you guys and please again enjoy <laughs>